I'm building a log cabin, or actually we're building a log cabin, but I do most of the work. After excavating the soil by hand, and a bunch of days with a rock drill, as I didn't know there was a big rock in the middle, I gathered a few stones from the land, and built a foundation. Plus pillars for the terrace. Then for the first time working with a chainsaw, I felled some trees for the main construction, then pushed them out of the forest, debarked them, and built the main frame. I'm gonna need these stones when I'm gonna make the floor, but lately they've just been in the way. I'm just gonna take them away so I have more space. a stick 30 centimeters and that's easier to use when I cut all the logs I guess I just have to do this a thousand times. Subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notifications of future videos. I'm trying to work out what is the best system to do this. Some logs still have a bit of this. Um, a bark on, so I'll put them aside. I guess I'm trying to be more efficient. We Dutch people like efficiency. Well, I know one thing, this is not efficient. <laughs> best system. Debark like a bunch of them, then cut them, then take a break from the chainsaw, bring them over there, come back and do it again. Efficiency. Today we are cutting down that, oh where is it, that massive tree over there, 
Uh, yeah, I'm doing these jobs to pay for my living expenses. If you enjoy my videos and you want to see more of them, consider supporting on Patreon and I can uh, do less of these jobs and make more videos. Well, let's get started. Jake is gonna help me to cut wood. <laughs> Why is Jake helping me to cut wood? Good question. It's because he's repaying his debt because this week I drove out three times because his car broke. Yeah. And he took on a job and I was helping him for one day, which was supposed to be a hundred dollar a day, $10 an hour, actually Euro, but it's about the same. And it ended up being two days, 18 hours, six, five and a half euros, six dollars One, one broken garage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we still have to go back to fix that. Yeah, cutting a, uh, I don't know, 30 or 40 meter tree down. It <laughs> didn't really go to plan, but live and learn. <laughs> and Jake is a real man. Start your chainsaw, like, just, just, the way he does it is like, this is the man, look at that. Blah. Well, I mean. Okay, now turn it off. Now just do it again, now it starts in one time, then okay. you really look like a real man. Yeah, ready? Ready. Yeah. Takes more time as you think, huh? Yeah. All right, so I think it's going pretty well. Yeah. We've done that. We still have like, <laughs> well, like, I think we did like. <laughs> yeah, maybe five percent, maybe. <laughs> oh, hello. I have some friends there. Huh? Yeah, you like it, pa? Yeah. Gonna be besties. Yeah. I thought yesterday, two men, two hours, we have it done, but uh, <laughs> no, still have a bit to go. So I'm gonna first take off the bark now of the little pieces. Uh, I didn't do that yesterday because it was just easier to just keep cutting, cutting, cutting. Um, yeah, then I put them there and then I'll continue. For some reason my gloves always break at the same point. It's always my middle finger that gets a hole. I don't know why. Today I want to use this Topcraft chainsaw. Um, I don't know if I ever told you the story of this chainsaw, but uh, I have bought Husqvarna for 200 euro, 220 dollar, and then I wanted to buy a saw pens, and the cheapest one new was like 50 dollar, 45 euro, and the cheapest one used on the internet on a second hand website was the same price nobody offered it cheaper and then there was this one guy also for the same price who offered uh, a saw pants plus chainsaw for the same price so I was like well if I have to spend $50 anyway I might as well get a chainsaw extra for it he said it had a problem this engine is 1.4 kW and this one is 2.1 so it's much stronger and um, well, it's getting a little bit tough to cut those really big logs with this one, so I want to try this one today. Thank you. 
there's like smoke coming from like everywhere from that's I don't think that's good I don't I don't know if you can see it but I don't I, I know I don't think there's supposed to be coming smoke from here so uh, you know what I'm just gonna go back to the to the Husqvarna with a smaller engine better safe than sorry <laughs> So I changed back to the original bar, the shorter bar, because with the longer bar it would just like cut and stop and cut and stop and I don't know why, the only reason I can think of is that the chain is not sharp but I had the chain sharpened so I don't know, anyway with this bar it goes really smooth but I can only do the really short logs with it. Um, yeah, so I might continue without actually putting it in, but just doing it by hand. Because I don't have any uh, protection now, I'm going to put my saw pans on again. That went easier as I was expecting. Alright, I'm gonna do one more run today and I think that my cutting energy is over. Clean the chainsaw and uh, call it a day. Tomorrow is a new day. Right, I have about 12 more medium size to go and 14 big ones and 14 big ones I'm gonna figure out tomorrow. I'm gonna try to do the small ones still today. I'm still gonna prepare these ones for tomorrow. I'm ready to do the last ones. Last time I had a bit of issues with my small chainsaw with the long bar, but I'm gonna try it again. These ones are so heavy that I feel like it's less effort to move the table every time than to actually move the logs to the table.
No, it's just really hard to get through it. I had the chain sharpened and I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna try to do them with a the small bar. I feel more comfortable with a small bar and I think I could do them too. It's just a little bit harder to get a straight cut. still lying on the floor and actually two long ones there but I'm not even sure if I'm actually gonna need them and the long ones are pretty hard to find so I'm gonna keep them because maybe I want to use a long size for something else so, uh, it's a uh, wow it's uh, raining this morning then uh, sun and no wind and now there's wind again well Better than in the Netherlands, my mom sent me pictures of snow. I mean, I like snow, but maybe not for this work. All right, let's finish it. I think I can add a skill to my resume. I can almost not believe it. From uh, from there being nothing to uh, to how it's looking now. I think the, the hardest part was to actually get the material. Actually, because everything is new and I never did most of these things. I've I've had some sleepless nights, even last night. I, I'm getting pretty comfortable with the chainsaw, but um, I don't know. I just feel like you have to keep being careful with those things because before you know, it goes wrong, you know? I still have to lift everything up and stack it up, but uh, I'll do that with some music. I want to say one more thing, probably a lot of you are going to say that I'm a little bit stupid not wearing ear protections. I mean, I am a little stupid, but a little stupid not wearing um, ear protection. And you're probably right. Um, I have just felt like because I'm so new to working with a chainsaw that I feel I felt a bit more comfortable hearing every single sound in my environment while doing it um, but now I'm a bit more comfortable I definitely will start using them Wow, 
one more step closer to finish. Are you getting excited for the build? I am. Think it'll be enough? Some of you guys asked uh, how the trees that I, I put in loose last time, how they are fixed to the uh, foundation. I did that now. Um, so, well, this is the middle part. Uh, all these ones are connected with three plates. So, it seems pretty strong. On the top, the same. Yeah. Now what I still need to do is in the front, I still need to put the last piece of wood. Let me show you. Let me take you up with the future stairs the stairs to heaven and then this should be the view of the bedroom maybe cut uh, the branches a bit shorter isn't that something A big thanks to my patrons who make it possible for me to keep making these videos. If you'd like to become a patron too, check out the link.